Hey babe, it's your girls with Bay, and I'm back with another makeup review and today we will be reviewing well I'll be reviewing but y'all be with me anyways um the new Huda Beauty press and snatch press powder y'all but before we get into this video make sure you like comment subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on all my social media platforms it's a Bay, Bay. join the Bay family leave a comment if you like this video I love you guys and I want to build a community on here and yeah let's get into this tutorial or review review i know i just called it press and snatch but it's easy bacon snatch so my bad y'all but anyways i got sent three of the new products from huda beauty i got sent three shades and i want to try them out for you guys today i'm only gonna wear try out one shade because i do have a loose powder to that shade and i want to compare the loose powder to the pressed powder but anyways i got the three colors let me show you guys three colors two of them are in its packaging one of them isn't because i opened them and i couldn't find the box so this is the packaging outside packaging and this is the outer packaging whatever so i got three shades i got kunafa um cinnabon and i got cherry blossom cake so i'm excited for all three of them it's gonna be amazing so they sent me a little pamphlet i always love reading these pamphlets because it tells me what the product does what's the purpose and how to use it like it just makes sense to read directly from the brand itself so let's see what Huda Beauty says about the product me 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 this pressed powder instantly sets makeup up for effortlessly 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 god damn brightens and lifts the under eye for a simple super sculpture look it comes in eight gorgeous shades it is pigmented giving medium to full coverage and a medium me, immediate brightening impact it's infused with hyaluronic acid which is great so it's not going to give you that dry um under eye because hyaluronic acid is really good for hydration um avocado ester for a silky smooth non-drying finish this is talc free and fragrance free which i feel like is so important because huda beauty know is known to have a lot of fragrance in their items but i feel like recently they've been removing fragrance which is amazing because fragrance could be um very like uh irritating to the skin and sometimes you don't want to be smelling stuff on your face you know what i'm saying so i'm happy about that and it is sweat and humidity resistant okay so they actually like sent like a uh, side by side of the loose powder and the pressed powder telling you their differences. So the loose powder has light coverage, it's great for baking and setting, it's for pro bakers and it's fragrance. Okay, so that's a big difference. Pressed is medium coverage, but it says medium to like full coverage. Instant targeted brightening, easy on the go, talc free and fragrance free. So that's the difference between the two. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my makeup and I'm going to do one side with the loose powder and one side with the pressed powder and we're going to see the difference. So I'm going to come right back with my base on and then we're going to see what this powder can do. So I just finished my base. I didn't set anything yet. My under eyes are still wet and whatnot. I do have to do a updated foundation routine because I feel like I found the perfect routine. But it may be tweaked after trying out some of Huda Beauty's products. And the reason why I'm so excited about reviewing this uh, product is because Huda Beauty is known for her amazing setting powders. Like her loosening powders A1 is definitely one of my top faves. It's up there with Laura Mercier, if not equally as um as my favorite Laura Mercier but anyways I have the three colors and I told y'all I was gonna try out Kunufa 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 and I reason why I'm picking that one because I already have Kunufa uh shade already so I'm gonna be using the loose powder so we can see the difference and then I just want to show you guys the packaging I already um opened that one and I kind of lost the product that was in it um because it came with a uh applicator this is how it looks like out the box like that comes with a mirror and everything which is great for easy on the go which Huda Beauty mentioned and then it also comes with its own powder puff well its own applicator and I'm gonna actually use the applicator to see how it is with this applicator but they also sent me this they sent me so many powder puffs which I love their powder puffs are amazing I have the really big ones um they sent me the small ones and they sent me the medium sized ones they're honestly amazing I carry it with me when I need to do a touch up or anything like I absolutely love it so I'm gonna be using the loose powder with this and then I'm gonna be using the uh applicator that comes with this one and we're gonna see how it applies so let's try out the loose powder we all know loose powder is amazing but you know what's shocking I thought the loose powder had a lot, of, a lot of coverage. That's made it. That's why it made it different from the rest of the loose powder. Then to realize, 
it is very really light coverage like, i thought it was full coverage in my opinion but that's my thing so i'm not gonna be baking i'm literally gonna keep pressing the powder in until it disappears i would have loved to use cherry blossom but because i do not have the loose powder in it i didn't feel like it would be a, a fair try a fair shot to try to compare it to loose powder because it's two different shades so this is how it looks like just with the setting powder i think it's so beautiful and it's stunning like i love the loose powder loose powder is a one it's an og it just looks so natural it highlights nicely it blends in nicely it just makes my under eyes look so smooth so i will forever love the loose powder but will i love the pressed powder so let's go in with canufa and we're going to be using the applicator that it comes with and I wonder, I feel like it is a little bit brighter. I think it is a little bit more brighter, like a tad brighter. But we're going to try the applicator with this one. So here is the applicator. I don't know if I'm a big fan of this applicator, to be honest. I feel like it's kind of picking up my concealer that's under it. So you know what? We're going to just ditch this. And we're going to go for the powder puff instead because I feel the powder puff is going to give more of a finish that I like anyways. So let's try it out. I'm already noticing this definitely has way more coverage. Way more coverage in the loose powder. I'm kind of mad because a little bit of my concealer got removed because of that stupid ugh, applicator. Don't use that applicator. I do not like the applicator at all. Like it actually did like remove my concealer i noticed a huge difference like this eye looks so much more bright and so much more like lifted this is really like, natural subtle soft but the, you can definitely see the difference like like i look more awake more bright like it's definitely giving me bright bright and i feel like with this one you can you don't have to use a really bright concealer because i feel like this is really pigmented and it'll give you like a really bright uh, under eye already. So that with a bright concealer, I feel like it'll be a lot. Unless you like a really bright under eye, that's you. But I still like this uh, a little bit, this look um, right here. I still love the loose powder, but I do love how lifted and snatched that I look with this. Like I, it's a clear difference. It is a clear difference. So what I'm going to do, I actually want to see how it looks like if I were to apply the pressed powder on the setting powder already to give the ultimate look. Because that's what it says in the pamphlet. Let me read the pamphlet again. Okay, so for an extra snatch look, I bake with Easy Bake Loose Powder. Then I finish it with the Easy Bake Snatched for a targeted brightening and lifting. So that's what I'm going to do on this side. Because I already said it with the loose powder. Now I'm going to just add the brightening powder on top of it just to see how much more it looks bright. She also uses, uses it for a soft matte finish. I love to use a loose fluffy brush to apply the easy biggest snatch to set my makeup all over which is great. So you can just put, um, set it in your high points, the high points of your face. Um, use a small brush or a powder sponge to target the small lines to snatch your un and to snatch your under eyes which is amazing. Take easy bake and snatch with you for touch up and go which honestly this would be amazing to go on the go with because i only would just bring a powder puff to touch up but now that i have this is this and this would definitely be a game changer so i am going to brighten under my eye on the loose setting side I, i'm going to just focus the pressed powder just in the inner corner under my eye because that's where i want the maximum brightness to be oh i think this is gonna be my new routine like this this loose powder and this pressed powder on top of each other this is so nice because you have the brightness right here and then you have it goes like really natural while here is like really bright all over which is not bad because it gives you a really snatch look all the way up but this to me why do i <gasps> not me getting contour on my makeup that's crazy okay i kind of fixed it what happens when you like work on your hands as a, a palette okay but yeah i think this right here is a combo i think the loose powder with the pressed powder just in the inner corner of the eye chef's kiss like i love the way i look right here like this is beautiful this is giving me definitely snatch like i look snatch the wads like i look like i and i only use cream contour i didn't even like set the rest of my face no powder contour no bronzer no nothing and my face really looks really really snatched and this looks snatched but it looks a little bit more softer if anything like i i like this but this is a moment like i mean I, i'm not not like i'm shocked or anything because i know like i said i love hoodie beauty's like base products like the only base product i'm not a big fan of the concealers does not big fan of the concealers 
but everything else that comes with it is amazing so i'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup and i'm gonna come back with my final thoughts hey guys so i finished off my makeup and i really just want to talk a little bit more about uh the new huda beauty easy bake and snatch product i absolutely love it i think it is stunning i think it's definitely like a must-have i feel like it's gonna be a game changer i'm definitely adding this to my foundation routine especially the way i did the loose powder and just the highlight in the inner corner mm, beautiful i did even take a little bit of the powder and put it on my forehead and on my chin and i took a um, cinnamon and i kind of like um also baked it around here a little bit like just pressed it around here and i really love it it's smooth it has no smell it makes my under eyes look really great i didn't even like, zoom in for y'all to see my under eye my under eye looks amazing first of all like look at the under eye it looks so smooth it looks so smooth like i'm obsessed like i literally love this product like this is gonna be added to my to my routine like this is now like a must-have like huda beauty huda beauty <laughs> knew what she was doing when she came this product and the thing that obsessed me about huda beauty like girl we've been wait we've been waiting for this for like years like this should have been dropped like a year or two after the loose powder because the loose powder was a1 the foundation is a1 Still need to work on the concealer not a big fan of the concealer it's okay um but this product should have been in the market years ago but i'm so happy that it's in the market now because i feel amazing with this product like this is a one and it adds the brightness that i need i'm definitely gonna try the cherry blossom cake with my um pink setting powder from another brand and that because i usually i love pink setting powder something about, something about pink setting powder is just so beautiful to me it won't be do a tutorial on that i could totally do that but yeah y'all thank you for watching this tutorial or this review let me know if you are interested in trying this product let me know if you love hooded beauty what's your favorite like under eye powder whether loose powder or pressed powder i would love to know what it is but yeah make sure you like comment subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on all my social media platforms it's a and i'll see you guys again in another video bye yeah.